they are. Hello, booktube. I am Ravenclaw, and welcome to my new channel, Rowena's Reading Corner. Now, as I like to do with any project, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been lurking on this whole booktube thing for a while because I like to get things right the first time. I feel like the best way to start any project is with copious research. Lots of notes. I've been researching the algorithm and the thumbnails and how to start your channel, and the consensus seems to be that if you're starting a booktube channel, you should do the booktube newbie tag. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It is 10 questions and I will be answering all of them to let you know a little bit more about me. Question number one is, why did you start this channel? Because no one around me really reads, unfortunately, unless they're, they're picking up something for work, like a magical text of, of some sort. Um, no one around me truly appreciates muggle literature. They all think that it is silly. Yes, I'm aware it's a muggle book, but have you read it? Well, what? Well, what does that have to do with anything? Just because it was written by a muggle does not mean that it lacks imagination. The second question is, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? Well, I really, really love creativity. One of my favorite things is to create book organization spells. I have one. Get this. It is an expanding shelf spell. So that you never have to worry, will that last book fit on your shelf when they are packed full? Oh, you. my wand. I also read a wide variety of books. I'm always trying to educate myself on stuff, you know. I just believe that you really are only as valuable as the intellect that you can provide. So because of that, I'm always picking up new hobbies, I'm getting into new crafting projects, all kinds of fun stuff, and there are books about all of those things. And like I said, I do my research. I got it. I got it. Question number three is, what are you most excited about starting your new channel? I'm so excited to finally be able to share my book reviews with people. I love writing book reviews. I've been writing them down, complete with spreadsheets and analysis. I really like to, to really get into the text. And there aren't many people around me that appreciate that. They just think I'm wasting my time. So I'm really excited to post those and to meet other like-minded individuals who like to sit and pick things apart and see how they work. Question number four is, why do you love reading? Well, I just like how it broadens your horizons, how you're able to learn new things. I love learning new things. I love knowing things. I just, I am the wealth of random trivia and I love the fact that reading allows you to learn things from the comfort of your armchair. Question number five is what book or series got you into reading? Well I know this is such a basic answer and everyone probably says this but it's definitely a history of magic. I just I love that book. I have so many fond childhood memories tied to just sitting in the Hogwarts library and reading that. Question number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um. I mean, there, there are so many questions I'd like to ask them. I, I think I need a minute. Questions, 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 questions. I guess if I only had a few minutes and I had to limit it to a few questions, the first one I would want to ask is, what do you think your favorite book says about you? I think that's a good one. I think that, that could get a lot of good discussion started, right? you learn something about them. Also, I think I would ask them, if you could go back in time and talk to yourself before you posted your first video, what advice would you give yourself before posting that video or starting your channel? I think that would really actually help a lot of the research that I've been doing. Question number seven is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel would be hardest to overcome? Well, first off, I just want to point out that I think there could be a slightly more effective use of grammar in that question. Um, Putting that out there into the universe, uh, it was a little, it was a little, little bit convoluted. But um, anyways, I think I think the hardest thing to overcome is going to be if I had a fault, it would definitely be my perfectionism. This is the fourteenth time that I have filmed this video today. We'll try that again because I'm still not happy with it. Perfectionist. You just have to re-record things until you you're happy with them. Hopefully that'll be this time. Question number eight is, when did you start reading? Well, I was born with a book in my hand. You can ask my mother, she will back me up on this. Question number nine is, where do you read? Anywhere and everywhere? Literally
literally, I always have a book on me. It is always, I have one. I don't go anywhere without a book. To go without a book is just, something is wrong with you if you can go anywhere without a book in your bag. I think we'll take this one. And one more, just to be safe. And maybe this one. I think that should be enough. Oh. Even when I am sleeping, I am reading, okay? That's how I work. I was adjusting my eyes. Um. <clears throat> and the tenth and final question is, what kind of books do you like to read? All of them. Clearly, I want to read every book that has ever been written in the history of forever. And I think I've got it, I've got it broken down into a very in-depth, complex reading plan. I think if I can live to be like 99, I think I can actually do it. Those are all of the questions on the booktube newbie tag. I hope that helped you get to know a little bit about me and my reading taste and why you should follow me on my channel so that we can talk about books. Anyways, so hi, it's Margaret. Thank you so much for watching that. I don't even know what it's going to be at this point. It's probably a disaster because unlike uh, Ravenclaw, I do not re-record things 14 times in one day. You're lucky if you get me saying it four times. I thought it would be fun to do a little video series about the various Hogwarts houses starting booktube channels. So I'm going to have a link down in the description for you to vote on the next Hogwarts house that I do. Obviously we have Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and Slytherin yet to do. So make sure that you go down in the description box, follow that link to Twitter. Anyways, this is all in good fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun trying to kind of embody my Hogwarts house as a person. How well I did, you can let me know in the comments, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I did a lot of research for this, though. I watched so many Ravenclaw videos. So many. And some of them weren't even that good. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, there are videos over here. They're already on YouTube. You might as well click one of them. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That is it for now, my friends. Happy reading, and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye! Three turns, don't you think?